Bucky Bronco and the Sports Legends Mall Legacy Walk, two of the ingredients that give Invesco Field at Mile High its character. Welcome to Denver. I'm Tom Hammond and with me Chris Collinsworth for the call. Glad you're with us. We should be in for a good one. Arizona squares off against Denver. This secondary is tough. Yeah, maybe they give up a few plays underneath, but very rarely do they give up any big plays. These backs are special and they're going to carry a big load, not only in the running game, but the passing game as well. It's going to be a very mild night. There's no rain in the forecast, so weather will not be a factor. This game is presented by Snickers. The Arizona Cardinals will kick off to begin the game. Arizona has this one teed up and is ready to kick it away. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Going with cover two man makes a lot of sense in this situation. They might be looking to go deep. So I think you want to go with a defense that's going to keep both safeties back. Moreno left side. The tackle was made by Ellis. Moreno picks up hey, a yard on the play. I think I'd go with this defense because it puts your corners and linebackers in man coverage underneath. And it gives you two deep zone over the top to stop any deep pattern. Moreno, the ball carrier. Moreno picks up five yards with the carry. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Give to the tailback. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. That was a poor series for this offense. Yeah, the defense barely had to even break a sweat on that one. Defensively, when you can take an offense and get them off the field in three plays, that's pretty good stuff. He makes it out to the 40-yard line. First and 10. Not much time to throw. The stop was made by Doomerville. We've reached the end of the first quarter, still no score. The Broncos, nothing. The Cardinals, nothing. They line up at the 48. Gets the pass away. And he caught it. To the 10. Pretty athletic play for a big guy. I tell you, as a quarterback, you see somebody make a play like that, you want to come back again and again. Throws it short. The Amedic brings it in. Touchdown. The Cardinals get on the board first. And how many fullbacks do you see in that situation have the balls just bounce right off their hands? But not this guy. He has nice, soft hands and makes big plays. Payne is ready to kick this one off. Gets to about the 24. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. It's the tailback. Ellis hits him for a loss at the 22. Denver calls timeout. The Broncos are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Let's send you to the studio for this brief halftime break. Welcome to the halftime. 
we'll take a look at the scores from other action. Here's a look at the first half stats. First half yardage was just about even. Arizona leads it by seven. Here are the highlights from your game. The second half. Welcome back to Invesco Field at Mile High. Griffin has it at the five. Hit and drop at the 39-yard line. The Cardinals will start this drive at the 39-yard line. White hands off to the left. Macbeth makes the tackle. The Cardinals set the pace in this game with a very effective rushing attack, and when you're having that kind of success, why not? You just stick with it. On the ground with a tailback. Brian Dawkins is there on the tackle. Here's the pass. The tackle was made by Champ Bailey. The Cardinals have been unstoppable when they go to the pass. You'd think the defense would make some kind of adjustment at halftime, but so far that just doesn't seem to be the case. The stop was made by Tom. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. That'll bring up second down. Pretty tight game as we head to the fourth. Our score, the Cardinals, seven. The Broncos, nothing. Second down and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws it. He catches another. To the 10. Well, at least one of these teams knows how to find the end zone. The offense is playing well. The defense is playing well. Still pitching a shutout. Just seems to all be coming together right now. Up and good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Very short kick here. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Well, I always hate to say it's over with time still on the clock, but this one's over. If you want to, time to pad the stats a little bit now. A couple of cheap completions. Go home tell Mommy you had a great game. Gets the pass away. Drops the sure pick. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Dumps it out right. It's incomplete. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Short pass. He's there for the catch. Nice stop by the defense on that third down pass, and that's exactly what you want to do. Keep the play in front of you, come up, make the tackle, no first down. Gets the ball away. There for the catch. And if you want to know why this quarterback walks around with a little strut, that's exactly why right there. He can make plays like that. 
It's a fake spike. And they got him. That's all from Invesco Field at Mile High. We'll have highlights next. Our final score is the Cardinals 14, the Broncos. This 